I'm exhausted. Moore's got us running drills non-stop. Smart move. For the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Then you'll need to make sure none of them are left to do so. Any other questions? I can't lend you any troops, but I've already sent word to Quartermaster Barden that you're to be given full access to our hardware. You'll have to pay for what you take, however. We can't afford to give away equipment. Did you have any other questions? Don't fool yourself. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Was there anything else? Good. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Dismissed. Look who it is. What can I do for you? I guess I can spare a minute or two for you. Things are a little slow at the moment anyway. Me? I've been in the military my entire life. It's a family sort of thing. My father served, my brothers serve, and I serve. I've had the honor of serving all over the NCR, and now I get to be out on the front lines as the NCR comes out east to help these folks here. Once we get rid of the Legion, this will be a better place for everyone. I'm proud to be part of that. Bye. Papa says, cut off the head and the snake will die. I guess the chairman's days are numb. Ah, you're back. What else do you need? Have you now? Hmm, well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Ha! The great cons will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Farewell. You should have been with...
I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great Khans, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular, me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great Khans, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I would too, if I were you. Share a whiskey with me sometime? Hey, what's up? Anders got back a little while before you did. He told me what happened. If that's how the Legion treats my people, I don't want any part of them. Don't worry, Jack and I have talked it over. We'll talk up the idea of breaking the Alliance. Bye. How's my most favoritest friend? Oh. It's cool, kitten. Diane passed me the haps on that Fandango with Anders. I got your back. Take it easy, kitty cat. What? How's it going? You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Bye.
You honor the great cons with your presence. What can I do to help you? Let me see. My god, this is even worse than I thought. Okay, you have my support. I'll tell Papa the Alliance is a bad idea. What do you want to know? Suit yourself. Until next time. I've been warned about you. You are perilously close to making an enemy of Caesar, and that is not wise. Join? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khan. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Great Khans. Drive Caesar. Hey! All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted cons. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then, if I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. If you should ever tire wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. The runners are saying... that the NCR is sending... Ah, you're back. What else do you need? Farewell. ...in their elite shock troops to try and push back the Legion. Share with... You're becoming quite the political agitator. I can't say I'm displeased. Until next time. Ski with me sometime? The followers of the Apocalypse keep many records of the past. It's been a long time since we associated with them, but they might have something. Until you do find me something, though, know that I still plan to lead the Great Khans to fight for Caesar. Farewell. Great to see you again. The Great Khans. Oh, you mean those raiders that used to clash with the Vegas tribes? 
Yes, some years back we taught them reading, writing, basic science. We hoped they would use it to make medical supplies, but they turned to drugs. I was never much involved in the cultural side of that project, but Ezekiel was. He's a member of the followers, like myself. But his particular field is pre-war history and tribal culture. I do recall him being fascinated by the Khans. He kept going on about parallels to some ancient historical empire or another. He rarely stops in here these days. You do best to look for him out in the wastes east of New Vegas. He's always looking for new tribes to study. Was there something else you needed? What's up? Let's go make trouble. See you around. Go quietly. The Legion can count on that. You look like someone with a question. What can I do for you? Oh my, yes. They're a fascinating tribe with a long and unfortunately tragic history. Their original incarnation, much farther out west, was almost completely wiped out by one of those itinerant heroes so common in the post-war years. Then, of course, the new Khans suffered a similar fate, some say at the hands of the same hero, though, of course, the dates are all wrong for that. Well, after they migrated to the Mojave, we established relations with them, but that soured when all they wanted was to make drugs. The NCR eventually took them down quite a bit, but the really fascinating thing about them is the origin of their culture as a whole. You see, Oh, of course. I'm sorry, I do tend to get wrapped up in my own theories and forget that not everyone finds them as fascinating as I do. <laughs> Here, I salvaged this book from an old library. It's a history of people called the Mongols. I think that's what the Khans built their culture on. You should read it. It's fascinating stuff. So the NCR makes peace with the Kings now? Where was that mercy at Bitter Springs? Ah, you're back. What else do you need? Hmm. This is exactly the kind of symbol the Khans could unite behind. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. You've helped me see Caesar for what he is, and I thank you for that. But if you suggest that again, I will have your head. We'll remain until the camp is packed up. If you have some plan, see to it quickly. Sure. You're becoming quite the political agitator. I can't say I'm displeased. Until next time.
Something else you wanted? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Until next time. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? An alliance? That's an interesting proposition. Any plan where I can throw packs of raiders at the enemy instead of my own soldiers is a good one. We don't have time for diplomacy. This battle is coming any time now. If the leader won't be budged, he'll have to be replaced. I want you to go back to Red Rock Canyon and assassinate this Papa Khan. You'll have to be stealthy. If they see you do it, they'll kill you. Here, take this lockpicking gear. Your best bet is to wait until late at night, find a back door, or catch him by surprise when he's alone. Good luck, soldier. Dismissed. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Yeah. Mr. House isn't a man to be trusted. Watch yourself. Seems like everybody with a stake in the Mojave is gearing up for something big. Something else you wanted? Without Papa Khan's guidance, I don't know what else to do. All right. You can tell the NCR the Great Khans will fight for them when Caesar attacks. Until next time. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? Excellent. You've done very well indeed. These tribals will make useful machete fodder. 
And if it should turn out we need their land later, well, it's not like we don't have the force to drive them out again. In the meantime, however, I have something else I want you to look into. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. But we have other problems. While investigating the Omertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Any questions? To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. Any other questions? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate. Which is why I'm sending you. Any other questions? Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. Good, then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. Report, is Mr. Howe still a threat? Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. Good work. Our efforts haven't gone unnoticed, either. The brass have been throwing around the idea of having the President visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios-1 solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? No. Just because you secured the aid of the Khans, assuming they don't try to kill us, don't think the Brotherhood will be so easily swayed. These are people that both hate us and outgun us. There can be no compromise. Anything else? After the battle, we consolidated our hold on the plant before pursuing our enemies. It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, however, they had simply vanished. Some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used and hightailed it out of here. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios and never went that far at all. Any other questions? A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. With the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to technology. They'd never go anywhere that didn't have working power. 
I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working reactor powering their equipment. That's their vulnerability. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list of concerns. Is there anything else? As I said, our scouts were some ways west of Helios when they disappeared. Dismissed. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I suppose it was only a matter of time. I wonder if, given the NCR's current situation, they would consider a truce of sorts. We've given up our claim to Helios, and we don't have any interest in claiming Hoover Dam, so our ambitions are not at crossed purposes. Perhaps it's time for a new strategy. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. Further, tell her that we are willing to send troops to aid in their coming defense of the dam. My guess is they're in no position to refuse. Has the Brotherhood been found? And you believe them? Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ugh, Crocker will have a field day with this. I want to establish diplomatic relations with them for Pete's sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor's center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. Dismissed. you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Ask your questions, but keep it short. We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations such as the landing platform on the visitor center. All right, I'll give you full access. I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. Don't take too long. 